October day 15, YouTube. I am here, uh, woke up, washed my face. I did a uh, six minute to sexy thighs with Blogilates and uh, that was intense. And now I'm gonna whip up a little uh, crock pot applesauce. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make this. It's pretty brainless, uh, you know how I roll. So uh, let me just show you right quick. Um, those ingredientes, real simple here. Um, I'm using uh, five apples of a mix. I use uh, Granny Smith's and I think this is like a Fuji or Fiji. You don't have to get highly specific. It depends on your flavor profiles. Um, you know, depending on how much you want to make, 12 is usually a good number, but these are sort of Texas size apples, so I'm going to equate this to about 10 and it's just for me, so we don't need to go hog wild here. Um, and then I'm going to be using uh, three of these cinnamon sticks that I got at uh, good old HEB. Um, and then some uh, fresh ginger and then I'll just kind of uh, uh, liberally sprinkle in some of this apple pie spice which and then uh, I cook that on low um, and kind of midway through the cooking I'll add a little bit of this uh, xanthan gum which is a thickening agent you could use cornstarch this is a uh, gluten-free um, if you have a uh, celiac disease, gluten sensitive enteropathy, or dermatitis herpetiformis, I'm pretty sure Bob is a close amigo and, and you're familiar with his line of products. But I use this. Oh, it's also kosher. Um, okay. Okay guys, so you can see I have all the apples chopped up there. I've got two, um, actually I've got three uh, cinnamon sticks and then just a dash, dashes of that uh, apple pie spice and then two tablespoons of this Truvia brown sugar. So I got off the phone with my mom and I'm headed out to get some lunch. It's about 12.15 uh, and I have not eaten anything yet, so. <laughs> all right, so I got uh, Greek yogurt with berries and uh, this broccolini egg white scramble and naturally coffee, which I'm already downing. Yet another uh, satisfying uh, Houston restaurant experience. I gotta say, aside from uh, the Baba Ganono, I have not had a bad meal here. And that being said, the Baba Ganono actually wasn't that bad aside from the threat of dysentery. Beautiful day here. Um, we are on route to a ranch to see some scarecrows. So stay tuned, folks. It's 88 degrees and sunny as can be. All right, guys. Well, we made it to Scarecrow Pass out here uh, on the ranch, which I guess is basically a subdivision, but whatever. I can get down with a little suburban charm. Impressive array from local artists. Well, we are back from Scarecrow Fest. That was a, a riot. Um, Fun derm fact for today, uh, as it relates to scarecrows and rolling around in the hay. Pimodes ventriculosus is a little uh, mite that can live on uh, barrels of hay. And he, that little devil can cause an itchy rash on your uh, rear or back, wherever you may come in contact with him and his brethren. You won't see him, but... Uh, uh, just be aware if you've been out in the hay and you get some itchy rash, it may be uh, from mite bites. Um, so yeah, that's the fun uh, fall fact for today. Grain itch, folks. Grain itch. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Um, and the cinnamon spiced apples are ready to be blended up for the applesauce. Smells delicious. Here, I'll show you guys. So you can see they cook down quite nicely. Basically, you want to make sure you pick out the cinnamon sticks. Yeah, 
and there you have it, folks. About uh, one and a half uh, quarts of uh, applesauce. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that cool here on at room temperature and then uh, pop it in the fridge. Gonna head for my runzo. Um, so that's gonna conclude the vlog today, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give it a thumbs up, comment, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe, all right? I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.